Hello and welcome. I am Eyeglass Tyler here with my buddy Sunglass Rob and we're talking sunglasses. These are our list for best prescription sunglasses of 2023 and I'm excited. You're excited, I'm sure. Oh, some of my favorites are on this table. I'm pretty <sighs> stoked. You really can't go wrong with any one of these, but we want to go into what we love about each one individually and I'm going to start with my favorite, which is the Coda. Why is this my favorite, Rob? Uh, you told me when we, well, we designed those in-house, which I'm super proud of, and they're unbelievably affordable. They start at $99 with prescription, but prescription. you're somebody has who has like only truth in you. Like there's no lying with Tyler. <laughs> and he put them on and he, after a few weeks, you're like, I think they're my favorite sunglasses I've ever had. And I'm like, wow, really? Like that says a lot. You've probably had, I don't know, hundreds of pairs of prescription Many. sunglasses in your life. and. For the ones that we made to be your favorite, are I'm pretty stoked on. Yeah, they just fit so well. I put them on; they just feel comfortable. They they're not they're not pinching, they're not pushing, they're not pulling. They don't move. You're wearing them as they're eyeglasses awesome. I'm right now. I'm actually wearing them right now. Yeah. So yeah, obviously, you know, I might be a little biased, but I, I do say genuinely, it is an amazing sunglass and also awesome eyeglass. But. Uh, I, I love it. There's grip on the nose to make sure this stay on your face. There's grip embedded on the inside of the temple. We use a bio-based frame material. Be a little more eco-friendly, eco-conscious. They're also uh, super durable. But also super durable. And it does maintain its shape extremely well. I'll be honest, close your ears, Rob. I've left them in the car before, even in hot conditions. Uh, and they are keeping their shape. They've, they've kept, everything about it is awesome. I've, obviously, it seems like I'd be biased, but it's an amazing sunglass and it deserves to be on this table. What's your next pick, Rob? Rob, what's your next pick? Um, I gotta go with Red Sands. I mean, they're like tried and true. I think I've had six or seven pairs of them. Non-prescription, prescription. I just love these glasses. They're you unbelievable. I have so many pairs of these. <laughs> uh, they're just unbelievably lightweight. They're so comfortable. You forget that they're on. Um, I call it a nano nylon material. They have adjustable oh, nose pads. Nice. They have uh, rubber right here, rubber right here. They're not the best for like hardcore sports. I don't go mountain biking those in, in these. I save that for my Huxons, which are the bigger brother of the Kodas. Um, but for like everything else, light, you know, hiking, I think they would be fine. If you're not doing anything like real intense, I think they're fine for sports, but if for every day- you're not sweating like crazy. Yeah, for everyday life and just, I think they're a little bit dressy if they need to be. They're a little bit casual if they need to be. The Maui Gym lenses, I mean, the Polarized Plus yeah. 2 is just, <laughs> it's some next level. The quality, the uh, craftsmanship, the lightweightness, the durability. They're just the most, some of the most phenomenal glasses. What I also love about them is how many different types of heads that they fit. I have a large to extra large head, not the biggest head in the world, but definitely not like medium like Tyler would be. And they like kind of conform to a lot of people. We have a few uh, teammates here that work here and I have some friends with some very big heads. And because of the lightweightness and the flexibility, they just seem to fit like so many here. different people. Yeah, why do I'll you put them on? We have a very different sized head. Very. And so you can see. They look a little bit big on you, but they're big. not bad. But I can still yeah. get away with them, for right. sure. I mean, they, they feel comfortable. Uh, when it comes to sizing, by the way, we do have actual sizing. You're seeing them on our faces, but uh, I forgot to mention it with the Coda. We have an SFW of 133, which is a really good kind of medium, solid medium fit range. With the red sands, we have an SFW of 138, which technically is on that larger large, to yeah. even extra large. But like he was saying, it is a little more forgiving in fit. Uh, and it's an awesome frame. And uh, in prescription, what's cool with Maui lenses is you can get the exact same lens in prescription as you get in non-prescription through Maui, their whole catalog. It'd be the authentic, awesome. it'd be the authentic Maui lenses. Yep. Are you going next? Ooh, bestseller. Let's seller. talk about <laughs> all-time bestseller, really just since the minute it came out, it just kills it. It is so good. If you're looking for something to sweat in, the Flak 2.0 XL is your guy or gal. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Uh, really solid, everything you want out of a sport frame. Good wrap, semi-rimless, super lightweight, super durable, grip freaking everywhere, grip all over the temple, grip on the nose. Uh, the interchangeable design means that you can have the perfect 
lens for any sport or activity that you are engaged in. You cannot go wrong. Also, what's pretty cool about this guy is this is a color that is exclusive to Sport RX. It's awesome. Matte carpet. Yeah, and you got that same really flexible uh, and durable Almost material. Almost indestructible yeah. O matter. O yeah. matter frame material. And the grip, by the way, isn't just your typical everyday grip. Oh, can I say it? Can I say yeah. it? What is it it's called? unobtainium. The harder you get and the more you sweat, the stickier and tackier it gets. I love saying that. It's <laughs> never gotten old for me. All right, that's awesome enough on grip. that one. That's yeah. a lot. Do I get to pick one now? Oh, SFW, by the way, 136, 135 on the XL, uh, which is honestly a really it's like one Close size fits to, almost everybody. Yeah, you can get yeah. a one size like fits most. They're a tiny bit small on me, but I have a pair that I mountain bike in sometimes, and I think they fit you great. They're like, yeah. if you're a human, they'll probably fit you. <laughs> <laughs> like, they yeah, fit a lot face. of people. Okay, I mean, I want to stay kind of near the same theme because why not? Um, Rudy Project Ride On has been around, I think, for 12 or 13 years, um, if not longer. I've been working here 16 years. I can't remember a day that we didn't, didn't have, have it. it. But maybe I just can't remember that far ago. So um, also open on the bottom, eight base meaning full wrap, a semi rimless design, interchangeable lenses. Um, what I love about this one is a few things. It's the fit and the adjustability and also the durability. So these have adjustable nose pads that you can um, make wider, you fully can make adjustable. tighter if you have a narrow nose or a wide nose. And then the temples are also fully adjustable. You can make them go straight back. You can make them go in. You can make them like avoid if you have any like hearing aids or any kind of um, technology that you need. Uh, they work great with headphones. They work great with helmets. Uh, super lightweight, made in Italy not inexpensive but like they last forever they've actually won durability awards here the pads are uh, replaceable so you might after a few seasons of sweating really hard and um, might need to just get some new rubber but that's super easy to do they also come in two sizes they come in the regular and a slim the regular sfw is 138 the slim is 130 with the adjustability and the uh, different sizes. And they even make a more like feminine shaped lens called the Curva that fits into the slim. It's just the standard, amazing, fantastic selling frame here. Can't say enough of good things about that Rudy Project ride on. If you want something just like that's gonna last for sports. A really awesome option. And the thing that we love about Rudy Project is they really do keep the prescription wearer in the forefront oh, yeah. of their minds, in their designs. Uh, so like he was saying, there are many sizes for, for you know, the proper fit for anybody out there, but also they make it so that you can, I, I don't want to get too technical. You're talking about the technical. adapter. There's like a well, bezel adapter system that you can use for high RXs. We have videos on that or call an optician. If you have a high prescription and you like that, they got you covered. We got you covered. I was actually going to talk about how the like, customizability of the- Oh, that too. Of how wide you do the lens. I was going to get a little uh, optician techie, but we don't need to get into that. We have right on videos. Doc. It's awesome. Check it out if you want more information right. on that. Uh, Let's move so it along. I'll go to my next Ooh. favorite, which is just an evergreen freaking classic frame. If you're looking for a good classic aviator design, even though technically this is more of a navigator, the, Ran the Randolph Engineering Aviator is incredible. Made in the USA in Massachusetts by the family that's been making them for generations unbelievably durable. If you're looking for a metal so frame, solid. but you're, you're you're tough on stuff, and you want like the durability of a plastic or a sport frame, that aviator is a beast. That thing, it, like they're built like a tank. They're not heavy. They're also not super light, but they're yeah. um, just built. They feel substantial. Un, yeah, that's maybe the word. Like they just feel for real. Of substance. The aesthetic on them, that bayonet temple, they've been in countless movies. Really, almost every time you see, uh, a plane movie, an aviation movie, yeah. a military movie. They're either wearing Ray-Bans or they're wearing the Ray-Ban or they're wearing the Randolph Aviator. In my opinion, as far as toughness and durability and a metal frame and an aviator frame, there's nothing better than the Randolph. And that comes timeless in- Timeless style. Several sizes as well. Um, they come in a 52 I size, which is pretty small. It's a 132 uh, SFW. They come in a 55, which a lot of people wear the 55. A lot of women wear the 55 as well. That's a 136 SFW. And then the big boy is a 58, which is a 143, which is, what this is. which is the one I wear. So if you noticed it on me, it, it was a little a large, but 
Those fit him. I just keep these. Brick and perfectly. <laughs> I like these. These are nice. I'm going to put my prescription Incredible in Frank. You know you can put your prescription in I sure did. Yeah. That's why they're on the table. Yeah, at sportrx.com, <laughs> baby. All right, what's left? We're having so much fun here. Well, we were talking Ray-Ban. Oh. We'll talk Ray-Ban. Man, the classic. The ever, you said evergreen before. Mm-hmm. Talk about evergreen. I mean, I think this design came out in... 1911 or something <laughs> like the obviously very popular like 50s kind of look and if you know ray-ban americana you know they just keep keeping those hits alive That's the right. Clubmaster now which is something i love comes in several sizes used to only come in like smaller smaller and yeah. now it's coming in like a 49 which i'll actually let tyler wear because those are going to be too small for me that's got an sfw of 133 they also come in a 51 sfw of 137 which actually fits me okay but there's a new one a 55 with an sfw of 143 and i think i need to get a pair of those uh brian yeah. brian if you're watching this send me one of those in my prescription um, nice uh, that 55 i think is going to be a really good seller so what can you say durable yeah uh classic, classic style you got you have a uh a, would you you call that a five barrel hinge, five barrel right? hinge so five barrel because there's five barrels tyler well i know but it's like <laughs> You have three from the temple, and they have two on the frame That's front. So I guess okay. three plus two. I get, I get it. I get five. it. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, just super durable, super straightforward in the design, and something you can count on. And I think uh, similar to the Randolph Aviator, something that you'll buy now, and I imagine your kids will want to steal from you as they get older. You might find them in your grandpa's closet. Probably find them in your grandpa's They're closet. They're multi generational. That's right. The new and one. cool for freaking ever. Like they yeah. were cool then. Well, They're cool now. They're going to be cool. Later. That, yeah. that's, that's you the can't thing. go wrong. All right, we're gonna end it with a friend to the big headed people. This is the Spy Cyrus. This has been out a few seasons. And actually a lot of these have been out a few seasons or more than a few seasons. But we're trying to like let you know what's selling the best, what we love the best, what customers are rating the best. So this is like not the newest, but the best. Yeah. And this is one Still. of the best selling spies of all time. This is the Spy Cyrus. Has a very, very thick temple and it's very big. It's got an SFW of 139. I, they're all, I have a pair of these. Yeah. I don't know if they're too big on me, but they're definitely big glasses. They, they, ha- they have oversized. kind of that look. They have an oversized look. Yeah. Very SoCal, very thick temples, very spy, and uh, really durable because of how like chunky they are. Yeah, it's and, a lot um, of material. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that they're one, two, three, five barrel hinges. <laughs> so very thick, <laughs> and they're actually big barrels because it's a big temple. Um, classic, rectangular, can't go wrong. Just tough pair of like lifestyle everyday spy shades. So if you're familiar with. Uh, any other videos that we've done, you probably are familiar with our feelings towards spring hinges. And I was just noticing that nothing on this table has a spring hinge. Go figure. We te- uh, tend to really go hard on sport frames shouldn't have spring hinges, but I mean, us as opticians, we get used to when you know we're helping customers out. That being the primary issue that people have, something's broken on their frame. Is it the spring hinges? Almost certainly. And They've so, gotten better over the years, they but, have. but you and there know. are better designs out there for sure, but still no spring hinges really tough. All to right. go wrong. I think we digressed enough. Okay. Well, that was our favorite best-selling prescription sunglasses of 2023. And we should know because we're sport RX and we do more prescription sunglasses than anyone. We got your sports needs covered. We got your eyeglass needs covered. We do prescription ski goggles, dive masks, motocross, mountain biking, any prescription, any sport, give us a call. We have friendly opticians that are on the phone that are here in Southern California that do the sports that you do. So if you call us, we can guide you towards the best pair of glasses you've ever had in your life. That's really- And lenses. And lenses, that's our goal. And if we get it wrong, if you don't love them, if something's not, you're not happy, we have a full exchange return policy, even on custom prescription glasses. We pay for shipping both ways. I don't want the glasses sitting in your drawer and you're paying money for them. If you don't like them, call us, we're gonna take care of you. Uh, That's just my mission in life is to help you see better. That's right. All right, uh, like this video, comment on this video. Later. What the frick, man? (laughs) Now that you know our top picks and best prescription sunglasses, you should check out a video we did on the best blue light glasses of 2023. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. If so, throw us a like, like Rob said. That'd be awesome. Also subscribe, because we do lots of other great videos just like this. Thank you.